punches on the 30 and takes it all the way. Logan Bush, oh, the keeper, into the end zone.
say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never rehearse, uh, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, 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 and this is absurd. Take a berserk, don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real, that's real, that's too real. That's too real. I don't know if I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. Really never waiting here too still. I don't even know what I should say. Should I jump on this? Should I get involved? Shot and got them people back up in their feelings yeah. Yeah. When they told me I was finished By the mother in it, not the doctor felt it Yeah, now victim call the finish Even like you witness, we the next to kill it Show them the king how they live it Pictures so good when I look up for business Don't be stepping in from the back door If they see you independent, then they pop jokes Got fear to the post boy, James Burke Side stepping on the shade, see the full work I'm trying to be up by the fitness But say they want me in the kitchen With the pickers or the whipping The thought of Louis so offensive Cause my daddy gave his body just to pull me out the trenches Hold up, hold up, wait If I never see a million or the recognition But I see the finish Look, they're the greatest when they losing Gotta keep on shooting even when you're missing Look, now focus on the past while living for the day Was never recommended Up in VA, Tony Bennett His kingdom can never be bought Cause it's given in a minute I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Mike, Jordan, give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom, that's scoring. I swear that I'm up for the sun in the morning. Oof, hey, I gotta flex. I need a Nike bag, give me the check. I need the money and power, respect, but I promise I'm rapping and go to the dead. Hey, oof, I saw him out of my way. I don't got nothing to say. Now they can't run on my pace. Thank you.
way too cold. Yeah. Hey, I'm Tell me what's been getting into you 
envy will kill you She said I'm a gentleman, I'd admit a lot of women Set up on my ottoman, I don't give a damn Like an auto with no time to kill, I've been feeling Like the opposite of work, it's a work And I've never been a purposeful thing to me I just do what I love and it works for me So I'm freaking every check, I put the money in the push Made to be gonna to the finish and the kid never do it
Hey, bow, baby. Stay on the tip. State, baby. My fellow Rams, I cannot stress the honor and humility with which I write this letter to you. Sam's been telling me all about your season and it gives me great confidence in you. Count your blessings tonight because you have the best coaching staff and the best teammates in the state. My name is Thomas Cooper and I am a state champion. I do not say former because that title has been sealed away under lock and key. Count your blessings tonight. I played tackle football for nearly 12 years and at multiple levels. And in my experience, you are about to be enveloped by the absolute pinnacle of the game. Football is the largest team sport where 11 men need to act as one. It is the Ross test of relationships. Relationships you've been forging since some of you were children. Count your blessings. You will dominate this game before you with speed and violence. And through such means, you will establish the undeniable truth that your relationships are tighter than those of your opponents. Linebackers, when that fullback comes through that hole, make him question how much he cares about the running back behind him. Linemen, make the guy across from you question his commitment to his gap. Make damn sure your opponent questions his resolve and his commitment to his teammates every single time he gets back in the huddle after you hit him in the jaw. See, you have been collectively blessed with a chance few men ever see in their lifetimes. And it all goes beyond a game of cleats and yard markers. You have been bestowed upon from on high with the opportunity to love those men around you, your brothers, with all that you have, flesh and blood, heart and soul. The opportunity to draw a line in the sand and hold it for 48 minutes. To sign your hearts and put your bodies on the line, not for yourself, but as a sacrifice for your brothers. To see the face of God. In this game, you and your opponents will both bleed for four quarters. Therefore, whoever has more blood in their hearts will win. Now take a breath. Count your blessings because the game has already been decided. Whether you emerge victorious or not Saturday has already been decided by the millions of reps, by the countless hours in the weight room and on film. Do not get caught up in the moment just as you haven't this season. Every game you've played was the state championship. Every time you stepped onto the practice field or into the weight room, it was the state championship. You probably just didn't realize it at the time. So do not worry because your fate is already carved in your hearts. Play your game as you always have. Break down your opponents because they do not have your hearts. Because they do not understand the bond that you all have with each other. How could they? Enjoy your final team dinner and count your blessings Saturday because you are going to catch a glimpse of eternity. Thomas Cooper. Oh, hey.
said that I gotta keep my head up, so I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm standing right here. Demons all around, but I ain't got no fear. <laughs> started playing football my junior year of high school um, and I played quick guard on the offensive line and defensive end. Uh, I'm Aiden Aldrich, I play quarterback and I've done it for four years. I'm Alex Walter, uh, I've been playing football for four years. Uh, I played offensive strong guard and defensive end. I'm um, Clay Oven, played for four years, played linebacker on defense and fullback on offense. My name is Tace Dahlberg. Uh, I usually play tight end and some D end as well. Uh, I've been playing for two years. Uh, my name is Seth Benj. I've been playing football for Billing Central for four years. I played center and nose guard. My name is Cade Boyd. I played running back and safety and I played football at Central for four years. Hi, my name is Preston Hubley. I play corner and tight end and I've played at Central for three years. I'm Travis Hadley. I've been playing football for, uh, all right, since, ooh. Flag football counts, so probably like 11 years. Is there anything you'd like to say to your teammates, the younger guys, coaches, team parents, anything specific? Keep working, it pays off. Um, and to, to Jackson Ritchie specifically, you're gonna keep getting made fun of at offensive line film sessions, so. Uh, football as a sport can be inglorious at times. You just gotta keep working through it. I promise it gets better. Everybody has their moment at least once. For the younger guys, just enjoy it while it's there. Everybody says that it does fly by, but nobody really believes it when we're young, so. But it, it really does fly by, so just just enjoy it while it lasts. To keep, in, keep working and enjoying football, you gotta have a love for the game if you wanna you know, spend time doing it, so. Just to keep working no matter what. Just how much I love all the guys, all the young guys, just. Don't take it for granted, it's, it's a great sport, it's so fun, it brings you all together and go get the chip next year, I don't know. You know, cherish every moment, it's a really special thing, the thing that we have at Billing Central and you know, the brotherhood you make, the friends you make, it's more than just the sport, so. Um, you know, continue winning, carry on the tradition and kick some ass these next couple of years. Uh, I just want to tell my underclassmen that you guys can do it. I believe in you guys. Um, you guys have what it takes to get there. You guys just got to put the work in the off season, and I think you guys can. And uh, just believe in yourselves, believe in your coaches, and you guys can definitely um, get a state championship. Cherish, cherish every moment of your senior season, juniors, and then younger kids. Thanks for scout team. It's it's hard to do. 
some words that I want to uh, leave to the underclassmen are probably just, you know, have fun. You got the best people around you, so no matter the obstacle, you got the best people around you to get through it. Um, tell me one shining moment from this year or all of your years that you're going to take away and cherish forever. Um, it's got to be offensive line film sessions. They're just, there's nothing quite like them. The, the bond that we have between the offensive linemen is just, it's inseparable and it's such a fun experience. At the... My favorite single moment would be throwing Travis a touchdown pass on the north end of the Rocky Field. Uh, gotta be beating Laurel one last time, senior year, uh, beating the way that we did, just completely dominating and to beat them in Laurel was Felt really good. Uh, probably every time we beat Laurel, and especially killing Laurel at their own home field this year, that was a pretty special moment to be a senior and to be able to do that, so. Beating Laurel, and uh, probably just all the bus rides and stuff, it's, it's been great with everybody. It's growing the bond and the brotherhood. It's been awesome. Um, probably my favorite moment will be uh, kicking Laurel's ass, <laughs> and then uh, making fun of Richie at O-Line Film. Uh, senior year going out on a win against Laurel, and going up and breaking Hamilton's win streak. Definitely beating Laurel at home, at their home. Um, I'd say beating Hamilton, going up there and breaking their win streak, and then also getting my first interception. Uh, that was pretty special. And then just every moment on the buses with my, with my guys, um, being with these guys is truly special. Uh, I think my shining moment from this year is probably my first catch coming back from injury. I think I stood up and I think I got a little teary-eyed. <laughs> and uh, what coach did you learn the most from? Probably Coach B, definitely Coach B. He, uh, he definitely taught me like everything I needed to know to play the position that I, I had to play and had to fill in that role. And he got me to where, I, to where I needed to be and I'm grateful for that. I learned the most from my father as a coach. Quarterback position came entirely from him and as well as how did deal with the ups and downs of football came from him? Uh, for sure Coach B, he, uh, he really opened my eyes to play offensive line and just guided me and helped me throughout my high school career. I learned the most probably from Coach Stanton and Coach Hackert. I think they taught me the most about football and how to be a person as well in the background. So Definitely Coach B, I'd say. He gave me all the confidence and all the stuff I needed to know coming in. Just, I didn't really know too much about football or anything. So he gave me the confidence and really built me up as a player. I really appreciate that. Definitely Coach Hacker. He, he always gives the best speeches. After every back of the he always gives a great speech. Uh, coach I learned the most from is probably Coach B, Coach Stanton, and Coach Hacker. They really taught me that Football is more than just a sport, and it's about the man you grow into and friendships you make along the way. Probably say Coach Stanton or Coach Barry. Uh, I definitely learned the most from Coach Barry. He was the first one to believe in me. Um, I was a linebacker, and he brought me over to corner, taught me everything I know at corner, and uh, I just thank him for believing in me. I'm gonna have to give that one to Coach Chilton and uh, Coach Hacker when I. I flipped into the end zone freshman year and they made me do bear calls for 600 yards. What's the funniest moment from your football career? Probably throwing absolute wobbler in the state championship game. That was pretty funny. I think one of the funniest moments of high school was uh, when I came in as a freshman and first day on scout team. <clears throat> I saw Jaquan Booth who, as most of you know, is a pretty big individual. And having to go against him in scout team throughout, you know, the entirety of freshman year was, uh, it was a pretty fun moment in high school. My funniest uh, moment or memories from football, it's actually a series of, of moments every week at O-Line Film, uh, just, again, just making fun of Jackson Ritchie for everything he messed up on. It's pretty, it's pretty hilarious when he would miss a step or when he would block the wrong guy or just do something that would completely make himself look goofy and uh, we would all have a pretty good laugh about that. 
Funniest moment's got to be Gibby Ramble and the haircuts. Uh, Rich's Drake heart, that was really funny. And then also, shout out to Cade Boyd, best barber in the nation. Lighting me up, giving me the nice little blonde mullet. I think the funniest moment for my football career is when Seth was above me, like right around here, and he was chewing gum and he dropped his gum in my hair, so I had to cut out, cut out a chunk. Funniest moments that comes to mind is Jackson Ritchie thinking that he is him by always getting 800 cakes a game and us having to vote on them and of course voting against his cakes. And then I want to say an honorable mention is um, watching film over and seeing Logan do his signature uh, run. Uh, my teammates will know what that means. Like, it's like slow motion. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, funniest moment was probably when K Boyd stuffed fruit snacks down my mouth and told me it was all going to be okay. <laughs> funniest moment this year would be hearing Coach Barry's impression of my grandfather. Some of his Marlowisms are just A perfect and B like rolling in the grass funny. I'm going to remember a few of those for a while. I won't dare repeat them. Those are sacred ground and only the two of them may say it, but they're funny. My funniest moment for sure is looking around the locker room and trying not to laugh with my teammates when Coach Stanton says something sus during the pre-game routine. The funniest moment of the year has to be when Jack threw an axe bomb in a, a closet and locked Sammy Coop in there. So. Yeah, do you have anything you want to say departing? Goodbyes, thank yous. I mean, thank you to all of the coaches who believed in me. I mean, I was—I had no experience before junior year, and everybody was—they showed me—they um, showed me how to play football, basically, and they, they gave me a chance. So thank you all. Uh, to Tommy specifically, thanks for being a friend this year. Sometimes I just needed a guy to stand by. I want to just thank my coaches and just. My, I guess my senior year teammates, most all my senior year teammates, just for just having fun this year and just making memories. Just thank you to my coaches, teammates, and parents who kind of made everything possible ever since Pee Wee Football to high school. Uh, just how thankful I am for everybody. It's it's been a great two years, and I'm really glad I came out and. It just feels like home playing on the team. It's, it's been awesome, definitely. I um, just want to say thank you to everyone for giving me the opportunity. Um, yeah. Just thank you. Thanks to everybody. This has this been the best four years of my life for sure. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you to mom and dad for all the rides, uh, meals, preparing me for games, everything. So. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, playing Essential, teaching me everything I've known, and yeah, it's been one hell of a ride. I just want to thank my parents, thank the coaches, um, thank all of my seniors uh, for making this a true brotherhood, and just thank you for everything, guys. Uh, I just want to thank everybody, I mean, for giving me to where I am now, my coaches, my siblings, my family, my, my friends, my teammates. I mean, you gave me some memories that will last a lifetime. I just want to thank you for that. It's a video. Set, get guys!
school, we're being able to do the wide and green! Number one! Yeah!